Time is a fundamental aspect of human experience, shaping our lives, influencing our decisions, and framing our understanding of the universe. In the realm of Islamic teachings, the nature of time is particularly intriguing, especially as articulated in the Quran. One notable verse states, Indeed, a day with your Lord is like a thousand years of those which you count. Quran 22:47. This statement raises profound questions about the nature of time, the perception of existence, and how these concepts resonate with contemporary scientific understanding. In this exploration, we will delve into the theological implications of the verse, the scientific principles that challenge or support its interpretations, and the broader philosophical questions that arise. In Islamic theology, God, Allah, is understood to be eternal and beyond the limitations of time and space. The assertion that a day with your Lord is like a thousand years serves as a powerful metaphor for the transcendence of the divine over the temporal realm. It emphasizes that God's perception of time is fundamentally different from human experience, which is linear and finite. However, the specificity of the comparison, one day equating to 1,000 years, invites scrutiny. Why this specific ratio? If God's essence is beyond time, why draw a measurable comparison at all? These questions highlight a potential paradox. If divine time is beyond human understanding, any attempt to quantify it seems contradictory. This invites a deeper examination of the purpose and meaning behind the verse. The Role of Day and Night and Time Calculation From a human perspective, our concept of time is closely linked to the rotation of the Earth. A day is the time it takes for the Earth to complete one full rotation on its axis, with the rising and setting of the sun serving as the markers for day and night. This unit of time is entirely dependent on the Earth, its rotation speed, and its proximity to the sun. On other planets, the length of a day would differ significantly due to variations in their rotational speeds and distances from their respective stars. For example, on Venus, a day, the time it takes for the planet to rotate on its axis, is about 243 Earth days, while on Jupiter, a day lasts just under 10 hours. This means that our human reckoning of time is inherently Earth-centric, and days on other planets would be vastly different. From the Quranic verse, if we take the idea of day and night literally, it suggests that wherever Allah resides, there is also a concept of day and night. But for day and night to exist, a planet would need to be rotating on its axis and would require a nearby star to provide light during the day. This introduces a fascinating question. Is there a specific planet where divine days are being measured? If Allah exists beyond time and space, does it make sense to apply planetary time cycles to His existence? In our understanding of the universe, time on Earth is defined by the speed of the Earth's rotation and its relationship with the Sun. If we apply this logic universally, we might ask whether Allah's day is also dependent on a planet's rotation and its nearby star. If so, where is this planet located and what star illuminates it? Modern science has made significant strides in understanding time, particularly through Einstein's theory of relativity. This groundbreaking theory fundamentally altered the way we perceive time, introducing the concept of time dilation. Time dilation refers to the phenomenon where time passes at different rates depending on relative speed and gravitational forces. Gravitational time dilation In regions of intense gravitational fields, such as near black holes, time moves more slowly relative to areas with weaker gravity. This means that if an astronaut were to spend time near a black hole, they might experience just a few hours, while many years could pass for someone far away from it. This scientific principle introduces a fascinating parallel to the Quranic verse, suggesting that time can indeed be perceived differently based on context. Velocity time. Dilation. Similarly, time slows down for objects moving at speeds close to the speed of light. Experiments with high-speed particles have confirmed that time behaves differently when velocities approach relativistic speeds. This aligns with the Quranic idea of different perceptions of time, although the ratio presented in the scripture is far more extreme than any observed in scientific experiments. These scientific insights challenge the absolute nature of time, suggesting that it is not a fixed entity, but rather a fluid concept influenced by various factors. 
However, they also highlight that the Quranic comparison of one day equating to 1,000 years is not directly reflected in the physical realities described by modern science. If we follow the logic of time calculation based on day and night cycles, we must consider how these cycles work. Day and night occur due to the rotation of a planet on its axis and the presence of a star that provides light during the day. In the Quranic verse, if Allah's day is being compared to a thousand human years, this implies that there is a rotation period for a planet where Allah resides, as well as a nearby star. Given that we know there are 8,760 hours in a typical Earth year, over the course of 1,000 years, that would amount to 8,760,000 hours. For the Quranic verse to hold literally, this would suggest a planet that takes 8,760,000 hours, or about 1,000 Earth years, to complete one full rotation. The question arises, does such a planet exist, or could such a planet even exist in our universe? If we accept the literal interpretation of the verse, this would mean that Allah resides on a planet where days and nights exist, implying the presence of a star nearby. Without a star to provide light, the concept of day would be meaningless. However, since Allah is believed to exist beyond space and time, the verse may instead be metaphorical, emphasizing the relativity of time and the vast difference between divine and human experience of time. The intersection of religious beliefs and scientific understanding provides fertile ground for exploration. The Quranic verse can be interpreted metaphorically to illustrate the vastness of divine wisdom and the limitations of human understanding. While science provides a framework for exploring the nature of time, it cannot fully encompass the metaphysical aspects of existence. This leads to further philosophical questions. How do our beliefs about time influence our understanding of existence? If time is not absolute, how should we approach our lives and the choices we make? The perception of time influences everything from our priorities to our spirituality, prompting individuals to reflect on their values and the impact of their actions. In conclusion, the Quranic assertion that a day with your Lord is like a thousand years serves as a powerful metaphor for the relativity of time and the transcendence of divine existence. Whether taken literally or metaphorically, the verse challenges us to reflect on the nature of time and existence. By examining the intersection of faith, philosophy, and science, we can enrich our understanding of the universe and our place within it. As we explore these themes, we encourage open-mindedness and curiosity, recognizing that our pursuit of knowledge can lead to a greater appreciation of the complexities of life.